this is the real Tom Rose and we're dealing with a simplify question. These questions are always a little strange because you're not exactly sure what simplify means. So I always start by looking at the answer choices to see what's different about those from what we've been given initially. And uh, I mean, one thing that jumps out at me is, you know, in the original, we've got this second order fraction. We have a fraction of fractions. Um, and in the final version, we don't have that. So one of the things I'm gonna seek to do is uh, try to get rid of that second order fraction. So how do you get rid of a fraction? You can multiply by um, the denominator. And the, the denominator of these fractions, lucky for us, um, and this is by design, is the same. So x is in the denominator in both cases. And you can always multiply by one, um, which in this case uh, we can form as x over x. Right, so how did I come up with this particular uh, fraction to multiply x over x? Well, I just looked at what was in the denominator and I put that uh, in both of these and I put that in the numerator and the denominator. So let's multiply through and see what happens. Um, the numerator will end up with x plus um, x over x. In the denominator, when we multiply x, we'll end up with x minus x over x, um, which simplifies to x plus 1 over x minus 1, which does match um, the third answer choice. So we're done. Um, and you might be thinking, you know, Oh, gosh, Tom, how did you know that was going to work out? I did not know that, right? I, I picked this. Um, it was a bit of an educated guess, but it was a little bit arbitrary. I did not know that it was going to work. So it yielded something, and that thing happened to be on the list. If it weren't on the list, I would have tried something else until, until I could make it work.